Have you ever been curious how long it takes me to knit a sweater? Today's video is going to show you just that. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily where I talk about all sorts of fun crafty and nitty goodness. Today has been a long time in the making. I have been filming the whole process of knitting my resource Raglan from start to finish. I've been timing it and filming it so that I could create a video to show you exactly how long it takes me to knit a sweater. I am shocked by the results. You'll obviously see them at the end of this video but I am shocked. So yeah, this is going to be a really fun video. Before we jump on in, there are a few places you can find me on the internet. The first is birchandlilyfiber.com, as well as Instagram at birch.and.lily. And everything that I talk about today, all the links, all the places you can find me, they're all linked down below in the description. Something else I wanted to let you know about this video is that there's going to be a very exciting discount for you for the resource raglan pattern from Sarah Opie. Um, of course, the pattern is not live yet at the time this video is going up, but it should be out sometime next week. And I had the video ready to go in my queue, <laughs> so it's going live today. But keep an eye on the end of this video to get that coupon code to get a special discount on the resource Franklin. Like I said, I just sat down and I filmed the process of knitting this here sweater, my resource Franklin. So yeah, I won't ramble too much. Let's jump on into the video and I can tell you a little bit more about this sweater at the end. to record last night where I left off. I will add a screenshot though on the screen real quick of where my timer was at. Also I apologize because my dog is eating her <laughs> like toothbrush bone in the background and she just devours those things. Um, but this is where I'm at. So I am working obviously as I said at the beginning on the resource raglan. Right now this is a test knit that I'm working on for S knits, uh, Sarah OP. And yeah, I've I've started moving forward into the V-neck. It's been really fun so far. So I'm not sure if I'll work on it today. Today is a recording day and I usually record a podcast episode and like my in-between week episode. So I'm gonna be pretty busy, but I'd like to get some more work on this. We'll see. clip because I've joined in the round. Um, so it's May 2nd. I'm at about the six hour mark. Actually, on that note, I need to pause my timer. Yeah, so I'm at six hours and eight minutes. Um, I feel like I should have more done. I don't know. I guess I did when I cast this on, I did rip out at one point and have to start over. Hello, Leia. My puppy's in the background. Um, but yeah, I'm at the six hour mark. So it's kind of squished on these needles, but the front is really neat um, cause it crosses over like this. Um, my stitch count somewhere is a little off. I'm gonna have to look at that and figure out what is going on. If it's a me thing or a counting thing or what's happening with that. Um, but yeah, 
I am excited. So now I'm just gonna keep working in the round until I'm ready to split for the sleeves. But I think I might have to take a break for the next little while and work on some other stuff on the docket, but super exciting that it's joined in the round now. Okay, it's been much too long since I showed this. My dog is eating a bone in the background, but I finished the body. Um, I've been working on this so much in the evening and so the lighting just hasn't been great and I haven't been able to film. And even now, for some reason, this color just does not want to show up well on my iPhone. But yeah, the body is done. I ended up deciding to do a split hem. Um, it's a little bit shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. Enjoy my pajama pants. <laughs> um, and then yeah, I've picked up and I'm working on one sleeve now. I think I'm gonna do full length sleeves um, and go from there. But yeah, it's, it's going fast. I have no idea what the final time count is. My timer <laughs> screwed up on me. Um, so now I've just been like manually keeping track of it and I have not done the math, but it's been shocking how much longer it's taken me than I expected. I thought I always knit garments so fast, but now this has been quite a bit of time. So that's where we are. I have to wind up another skein of yarn before I can keep going on this sleeve, but it's going. It has been quite a while since I recorded me knitting on this sweater, my resource reglin. And then I was looking through all the footage I have for it the other day, and somehow I accidentally deleted something um, that I know I had of me like sitting down and talking through everything. So I'll have to re-record that later, I guess. It was more of like a describe what is going on, what I'm doing. So that's okay, there could be worse things. But I'm getting really close to being done. The last time I added up all of the hours that I've put into this so far was a couple days ago and I was past the 24 hour mark. So I have one sleeve done now and I'm working away on the second one. I am on, there's like two sets of decreases in this pattern, which is great. I think, I think that makes the sweater fit really nicely or the sleeves rather. Um, so I'm working away on the first set and then I'll have like a second set after that. But I thought I would sit down and record just some more footage of me working on the sleeve. Um, you can kind of see then too, I don't know if I've ever made a video of how I use my, hello baby girl. My dog is running around like crazy this morning. <laughs> so if you can hear her in the background, that is what's happening. But I don't think I've ever recorded any footage of me using um, my row counter. So it's okay, it's fine. So I thought that would be a nice thing to add in there too.
done. It's done, it's done, it's done. Other than end weaving, I think I will include that in the timing. Probably not blocking because, you know, that takes a while, but oh my goodness, this is done. And it took way longer than I thought it ever takes. Um, I think we're past the 30 hour mark. I thought for sure it wouldn't have been that long, but uh, hey, we, we learn things when we <laughs> do videos like this. A lot of effort goes into a hand knit garment. So I'm gonna start weaving these ends. Hi, Leia. You say hello. <laughs> I'm gonna start weaving in these ends and we're gonna get it blocking. trick that I've learned is to knot each of my ends after I've woven them in. The reason I do this is because I don't cut my ends until after the garment has been fully blocked and dried. So if I knot each of the ends, then I know for sure that it's been woven in and I won't accidentally cut an end that hasn't been woven in and unravel my whole sweater. One of my favorite wool washes to use is from Tuft Woolens. They have these beautiful bar wool washes that you can just rub into your water and they help along with the blocking process of your garment. Blocking is super important because it evens out all of your stitches and just gives the garment a finished beautiful look. It also helps your garment relax into the shape that it really wants to be and you can block it to the measurements that your pattern gives you. I highly recommend giving blocking a try if you haven't before. Make sure you squeeze all of the water out of your garment as well as you can before you lay it out on your blocking mats. I have a spin dryer, which does help a lot, but is totally not necessary. I tend to not use pins when blocking my garment. I just lay it out to the measurements that are called for in the pattern and it works quite well for me. The only time I would use pins is usually when there is lace or really squished up ribbing that I want to stretch out slightly.
my finished resource raglan. I knit the size 8. This pattern comes with I think 22 sizes. I knit the size 8. I have a about 40 inch bust and this is the size 42 inch so it gives me 2 inches of positive ease. This pattern if uh, you are new here and you don't watch my regular podcast episodes which you definitely should. <laughs> Um, but if you're new here, this is a pattern by Sarah Opie, and she has designed this to basically be your knitting encyclopedia for knitting a raglan sweater. So I chose some different options here. I have the ribbed v-neck. I just did normal sleeves, the regular foundational pattern sleeves, knit the body to, I think this is about 14 inches long before I did the ribbing and I did a split hem that's a little bit longer in the back and yeah this is my resource raglan so um I guess we'll talk a little bit about the timing I'm not going to go into tons about the construction of the sweater first of all because it's a paid for pattern but second of all because I talked a lot about it on my previous podcast episode so if you want to hear more about this definitely check the episode before this one uh, to hear more about that. Um, I guess I should say though that I did knit this out of Birch and Lily Fiber Co. Birch DK, which is a 100% superwash merino in the colorway Modelous. Okay, we're back to sitting down because it's more comfortable for me to talk to a camera this way. Um, hopefully, I'm sure my setup is all funky, but there's been stuff in between so you won't really notice, will you? <laughs> Anyways, wow, <laughs> over 40 hours of knitting. Um, I think my idea of how long it takes me to knit a sweater is really skewed because I'm not a monogamous knitter. So I have multiple projects on the go at one time and I don't really pay attention to how long I'm spending on something. But to realize that I put 40 hours of knitting into finishing this just makes, I don't know, every single piece I've knit more precious and it makes me... <laughs> I was I was kind of picky already on who I knit projects for and gifts for, but it makes me even pickier <laughs> about who I knit things for because this took so long. Um, and this is a DK weight sweater. A fingering weight sweater is going to take even longer. I don't know. I find I get a lot of comments about, oh my goodness, you knit so fast. I don't think I do. <laughs> I really, I, filming this and timing this, I don't think I knit that fast. Um... I think I'm really good at fitting knitting time into my day and I also have a decent amount of free time at this point in my life so that I'm able to knit lots but I don't think I'm that fast of a knitter so I don't know um I would be curious if any of you have timed how long it took you to knit a garment I don't know I think it's just it's not necessary information but it's definitely really cool so yeah um I guess I'll leave it at if you have any questions about this process. I know I showed my blocking process in here too and all that sort of stuff. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, you can leave them down in the comments and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I guess I have a coupon code to give you, don't I? Um, so Sarah of Esnitz was so very kind and when I came to her with this idea of filming this video, she jumped on board. I wanted to make sure it was okay with her that I filmed the process because it's her pattern. Um, so she was totally on board and she offered to give a coupon code for all of you for the pattern. Now like I said at the time of this going live the pattern isn't live yet. I will make sure if you follow me on Instagram to post obviously when it goes live but if you follow me here on YouTube I'll also make sure I post in the community tab on my channel that the pattern is live and I'll let you know on my regular podcast episodes as well. But when it is live, this coupon is for you. I don't know much details about it yet, but I know you get a coupon. <laughs> so the coupon code is going to be Birch and Lily. I'll put it across the screen as well. Make sure you use this code when the pattern goes live to get a little bit of a special discount. And yeah, I'm, I'm so thankful to Sarah, first of all, for doing this for all of you, but also to her for letting me test another one of her wonderful patterns and allowing me to film this fun video for you. So like I said, I'm not gonna ramble on any longer. Leave your questions down in the comments if you have them. 
Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked what you saw today, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. And I will see you all again next week for a regular podcast episode. Bye.